wrote down a note about Bill Maher. I watch his show. I don't know why. <laughs> um, I guess when the current president got elected, I just wanted to hear people talk about it because it was like, I don't know, I just wanted to know like why, how it happened or, or something. And I just started watching that show. Um, he kind of, I wrote down a note. Um, he talks a lot about how millennials are like, it's like the, I don't know, it's like the cool thing to say is like millennials are sensitive and they need safe spaces and stuff. This is a cutscene. I guess it makes sense for people to, who grew up in a different society to have different personalities. I'm not saying it's not impossible for a generation to be more sensitive than the previous one. Um, I think the major thing is just It seems to take people longer than it used to to mature. Am I going the right way? I don't think you see a lot of like 30 year olds who are um, super sensitive or, or get offended about stuff. It's mostly like kids. And I think that's always been the case. But now it's just kids are older than they used to be so and and older people aren't used to that i guess Wait, this shouldn't be too hard to figure out i'm an idiot um so like people in college like he always talks about like how college kids are are acting like childish and and how they they've been like like some somebody who they disagree with will come to speak and then they'll like form a protest or something and then he'll be like see this is what I'm talking about kids are today are all sensitive and stuff I don't think I've ever played a game that's figured out how a game like this. Oh, what's that? It's too small for grave. Got to leave that stupid robot on the grave. What should I do with it? Um, what? I want to talk about it. No. Why not? How many times do we need to go over this? Things happen, and we move on. It's just. That's enough. <sighs> All right. I'm sorry. Still hasn't. I, don't, I think he still hasn't talked to her about his daughter. So I think that's like what that's all about. Um, I haven't played a game where they figured out how to do like this, where they have branching paths. So I want to explore the whole game, but I don't know which one to go down. One of these paths 
continues the story and then you can't go back so I want to go down the one that won't continue the story I don't think I've ever played a game where they figured out how to show the player that which way is the right way and I don't know how you would do it I'm so hungry I know I am too alright next floor I see him pulls us in let's get past this place then we can scrounge up some food um. Yes, yeah, so I've been watching that, that Bill Maher show like for two years. Um, I don't know why, really. I don't think he's very smart or f even that funny, but he has he has good guests, I guess. I always hate whenever I watch one of those kind of shows and like <clears throat> the the guy says something and then the audience claps or I don't know I always hate when the audience claps it's a weird way to respond to something you agree with like you're so excited somebody said something you agree with it you just start clapping that's weird me, I don't know. I think that we have a cutscene coming up right about. Tell the girl to drop hers now. Ellie, do as the lady says. Hey, please tell me you're lost. I mean, we didn't know the place was occupied. We're just trying to make our way through. Through to where? They're all right. But you know these people? I know him. He's my goddamn brother. Toby. Holy shit. Let me look at you. You're fucking old. Easy. It won't happen to you, too. This is Maria. Be nice to her. She sort of runs things around here. Ma'am? Thanks for not blowing my head off. Would have been embarrassing, considering you're my brother-in-law. We all gotta get wrangled up at some point. Ellie, right? Yeah. What brings you through here? Uh... It's kind of a long story. Why don't we bring him inside? Yeah. You hungry? I'm starving. <clears throat> what the hell are you doing here? I thought I'd find you in Jackson. I'm trying to bring the plant back to life. We had it working before. But one of the turbines went down. We have electricity, Bill. I have it. We'll get a run again. It'll be interesting no to play The Last Guardian because there aren't any cutscenes really. Hey, Tommy, I'll have to talk the whole time. It. Sorry, I'll be right back. Can I? Yeah, of course. You ridden a horse. Uh, Winston is a soldier back in his own. He gave me lessons. You know, if you want, we can take him riding later. That'd be awesome. Where? <laughs> hey, thanks, Donnie. No sweat. All right, let's continue the tour. These kind of things are hard to talk during. I 
don't know if I should. It's like it's not really a cutscene, but they're still talking, so I don't know if I should talk. I went back to Texas, back home. Most of our stuff was long gone. Most of it. Here. It seems faded, but it still looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like this. You, um, they make you feel like you have a choice, but you have to give it back. moved on but has he really <laughs> I need to talk to you privately yeah okay let me just check on my guys real quick come on People complain about the Telltale games that like you have just like an illusion of choice but I always still like them I don't know I don't know why I brought that up because I could talk about that for a lot uh, longer I mean, these people are creating the story, so they should be able to kind of tell it the way they want to. Um, my choices should inform, like, how I feel about the characters, but it shouldn't... I don't care if it doesn't actually change the main story. I don't know what you heard, but you should see the town. Like if I make one decision, one character dies, and if I make another, another dies. I don't really care if that happened. What do you do for protection? We both take turns guarding the perimeter. We even got an electrified fence between planters. You still got to deal with infected though, right? Who doesn't? But it's the world we live in. Or maybe you don't have to be. <coughs> Like Marlene. Shadoogie. Hey, buddy. That's Bucky. Not much of a guardian, but a good boy. Well, he's good to have him. Stop here.